Uh, this is a significant part of the ongoing asset monetization exercise uh, that is going on as far as Arcom deleveraging its balance sheet is concerned. What we're given to understand is that uh, the company has now officially announced uh, the completion of the sale of its fiber assets to Reliance Geo, and this deal has been struck for about uh, 3,000 crore rupees. Now, this is extremely important because at the end of the day, this is part of the entire deal, the main deal that was struck between Arcom and Rel Geo. Uh, now the fiber assets uh, have been sold for 3,000 crore rupees. Last week there was a deal that was announced for selling the MCN assets to Reliance Geo for 2,000 crore rupees. What next? Next there are two other important tranche of assets. Uh, Arcom also has to sell its Spectrum assets and Arcom also has to sell its Star assets. So that will mean further deleveraging de de of the company. And this comes at a very important time because just last week they managed to get that crucial nod for, for the, uh, from the foreign uh, bondholders for the $300 million bond default. And that was very important because that decision uh, you know, saved Arcom uh, from any sort of insolvency and bankruptcy proceedings before the August 27 deadline. So keeping all this in mind, uh, the entire debt reduction uh, drive, even though it has been delayed, is slowly and gradually uh, moving ahead. And we can expect official announcements on the tower sale uh, to Reliance Geo, as well as uh, the Spectrum sale, which will of course require regulatory clearances to Reliance Geo. Both of those announcements are also likely to uh, shortly uh, come in, and that would mean the end of the entire deleveraging of the balance sheet as far as Anil Lamani led Arcom is concerned. Back to you. Ashwin, just for the benefit of our viewers who are tuning in right now, uh, what are the residual assets with Arcom after this stake sale? Because, you know, uh, just a few days back as well, they'd sold about 2,000 crore rupees worth of assets to Reliance Geo again. And that, I guess, was the first tranche. Right. So there are many other assets that Arcom has. Uh, keep in mind that they also have uh, real estate assets. That's one part of the business. Then they have the India enterprise business. Uh, so, you know, at the end of the day, after the completion of the sale of all these assets, fiber, uh, tower, uh, MCN, plus real estate, plus the India enterprise business, you know, the Arcom that we knew earlier, originally, the telecom company, you know, that, that, that will not be the case. It will be uh, an entirely different company with an entirely different focus. It will have, of course, GCX, which is Global Cloud Exchange, uh, but it will be a pale version of its earlier self. But uh, that's something that it had to undertake because there was pressure from lenders, and that's why it decided to sell all its assets. And, of course, Reliance Geo needs these assets on a fast-track basis as well. So the completion of these deals, the timely completion of these deals is significant not only from Arcom's point of view, but it's also important from uh, Reliance Geo's point of view because it also needs this infrastructure more than any other telco. Back to you. Of course, Ashwin.